In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a fisheye lens for APS-C and Micro Four Thirds. Full frame. What? It's for full frame too. No, no, it's an APS-C lens. Yeah, I know it's an APS-C lens, but it works on full frame as well. You mean mounting? Most APS-C lenses would mount on a full frame, but you'll lose a lot of the sense. No, not, not with this. It still covers top to bottom and most of the way to the sides. Most of the way. Yes, so not all the way. No. Um, what use is that? Well, it's great if you want to stitch 360 panoramas, or better still, you can crop in the corners and you will still end up with an image larger than you would get on an APS-C. Wow. You know what? I thought for 80 quid this was going to be a good value option for APS-C, but it sounds like it could be an absolute bargain for full frame shooters. Oh, I mean, of course, it's, it still has its limits. Oh, yeah. though, Absolutely, it? you know, it's a completely dumb lens. It's got no autofocus, no electronic contacts for EXIF data, no aperture control. Yeah, well, you know, it doesn't need an aperture control given that its aperture range goes from f8 to f8. Oh yeah, you definitely won't be wanting to use this lens in low light unless you've got a very steady hand. Although that is made a lot easier by just how small and light this thing is. Tell me about it, it's basically a body cap with some glass in, which I love. It's smaller than most camera grips, so if you can fit your camera body on its own in your pocket, then you'll be able to fit the body cap with this lens on in your pocket. Oh, a swine to get off the camera at times though, right? Oh, I've, I've hit that problem too. You mean when you want to swap lenses and you have to remove the lens cap first to get a grip on something and then replace the lens cap when you've finished? A minor inconvenience, but definitely made up for by how easy this thing is to carry around. Indeed, I found that just the other day. I took this out when I took the dog for a walk and this on my A6400 when in my coat pocket, no problem. Speaking of the dog, you are playing a dangerous game with subscribers not including him. In fact, I think we should get him up here. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 get him down. Are you out of your mind? He would be a continuity nightmare in this situation. Oh yeah, I, I didn't consider that. Evidently. But as I was saying, I found this to be a great little quirky walk around lens. It certainly opens up some creative options. Well, unless you're obsessed with bokeh. That's true, 10 millimeter focal length and a fixed aperture of f8 doesn't really scream out of focus, does it? Not at all, you will be hard pressed to get anything out of focus with this lens. But that does make focusing so much easier, especially since it has that little focus slider rather than a focus ring. I found I basically default to one of three focus positions, either close, middle, or far. That seems to cover all the bases. Oh, I agree with you. I love the little focus slider, given how small this lens is. I mean, could you imagine trying to have a focus ring on here? It'd be as fiddly as trying to operate a cargo ship on the Suez Canal. Oh! Although, I do have to say, I was really surprised by the image quality of this as well. And granted, the corners go a little soft when using on a full frame, and it doesn't really like backlights. Now oh, you can't expect miracles for 80 quid, but I'm with you. The overall sharpness and look for the price is much better than I was expecting. So I think a fair analysis would be it's a fun little niche lens for either full frame, APS-C or micro four third shooters that could be handy to have for the rare occasions you'd use it. Very affordable and decent image quality to boot. That sounds pretty accurate. And if people want to buy one, Oh, well, if they want to go and check this out, I've left a link in the description down below, right next to the like and subscribe buttons, which hopefully they've already pressed by now. But I think that pretty much covers everything, doesn't it? Well, not quite. There is one big question still to answer. Which one of us gets to keep this?